everybody. Welcome back. So we're on the Yellowstone River here. We found a place to camp here on the river and uh, hopefully we can catch some fish out of here. All right, so I've been trying this streamer here for a while. It's not doing too good. But I gotta say, I've fished this river many times and I've never done good on this river. All right, so I figured I'd give a, a little update of some of the stuff I've been doing. So about a week or so ago, I decided to go up into uh, Alberta, Canada. I wanted to catch a bull trout, so I head up there, spent uh, about seven days up there, throwing some big ass streamers, man, hoping. I had a couple um, pretty big fish on, and I lost every one of them. Didn't really catch a bull trout. Oh, what a bummer. Caught a bunch of cutthroat trout, though. It was pretty cool. Got on these beautiful little rivers, hit the streams there. I got uh, by this waterfall. Look at this. This shot of me fly fishing in front of this waterfall. I had this beautiful pool there, and I know there's 24 inch bull trout in there, but they weren't interested. Well, what are you gonna do? So, and then uh, a couple days after that, I hit a lot of rain, got a lot of thunderstorms in, and then one morning I woke up, everything was white. I had, I'm in the middle of a big snowstorm, <laughs> driving down this road. I was in like a blizzard, it was pretty cool. So. We did that, then we got back into the States here, and uh, it's just, the heat just heated up for a while, but finally now it's uh, cooling down. It's pretty chilly this morning, and hopefully the fish will pick up. All right, all my adventure seekers out there. So, we're back on the road again, we're back on the, the Yellowstone River, and I came up with my friend, a friend of mine, Daniel, he's a big fan, uh, Daniel, I mean, Daryl, Daryl. He's a big fan of my channel, so we're, we're camping together for a couple days. So he brought me this beer. He got this Magic Hobo Monkey. <laughs> the Mellow Lock Brewing Company. It's in uh, Billings, Montana. It says orange tropical fruit at 8% alcohol. Could be good. Let's find out. Open this bad boy up. Let's pour some of that in there. Oh, it's nice and light. Looks refreshing. Mmm, smells fruity. Let's give this thing a shot. Ah, ah. You do hear that, right? I heard it. Every, every time we uh, we open a beer up, this happens. I don't know where it, where it comes from. I know, it's weird. But it's this is pretty good stuff, actually. This is very refreshing beer. So anyway, we're gonna do some filming a little later. We're gonna do a little fishing on the, on the Yellowstone here, and we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Stay tuned. Everybody, so the sun is going down. It's, it's below the mountains now. The sun is moon is the moon is popping up and it's freezing out here. The temperature dropped. We just had some thunderstorms. So now I'm just gonna head into the Jeep and I'm gonna just watch some YouTube channels and we'll see you guys in the morning. chilly this morning.
we got another beautiful morning. Hey everybody. So the sun's going up. It's getting hot. We spent about, I think I did three nights here. And the fishing sucks. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's uh, this river right now, the Yellowstone River here, it is crazy low. And I gotta say, I'm in my kind of my just starting the second week of um, September. I'm in Montana. I had 107 degrees yesterday. It just, the fish just don't like that. So I did, did crappy here. And it seems to be the whole norm everywhere. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's just a bad year. So we're gonna head, over, head out today. We're gonna head up in more into the mountains. You maybe get some uh, small creeks up there. I don't know. But uh, let's get it moving. Hey everybody, we're back on another stream here. We're back up in the mountains more. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna see from a couple streamers here. Maybe we'll get lucky for a change. everybody the fishing's been horrible and it's time for a beer so I have this beer here I found this actually I found this up in uh, Canada so it's red horse beer it's out of um, the Philippines I think it's a San Miguel brewery up up there it comes in at eight percent so I figured I had to try that it's a weird beer to find up in Canada but it's interesting so I did some, looked up some reviews on it and um, it's not good. <laughs> some people say it tastes like soda. I don't know. So let's open this guy up. Oh, and don't forget, if you guys want to help me out with some beers, you can just, uh, there's a link below. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, it's foamy. Oh my God, it's light. Huh, man, there's a lot of carbon. It's, whew. I don't know, kind of smells like a Budweiser. Ah. Yeah. I was gonna say it's, it, it tastes like a cheap beer. And that's what they were saying as a cheap beer. It's also the strongest beer that you can find in the Philippines. And they make it in the, on the cheap with cornstarch and a lot of stuff, but <laughs> it's something different from the Philippines. I thought it was cool. So, ah, yeah, it's kind of flat, not much taste to it, but it's something different. So anyway, so we're going to end the video here. Fishing has been horrible. I'm not sure where I'm going to go next. There may be another stream down the road. I don't know yet. Otherwise, I got to head into um, South Dakota, renew my driver's license. And I don't know after that. So thanks for sticking around. And don't forget, never stop listening to rock and roll. Never stop exploring. And we'll catch you down the road. La Strobia. <laughs>